Hey guys, welcome to a new video. We are making stays today. First version, first mock-up. If you haven't seen the last video in this series, I am going to make an 18th century dress completely out of fabric from Ikea. I am using this pattern for the undergarments, which is what I'm starting with. I have already made the chemise. You can click here to watch that video. But next up, I want to make the stays, the 18th century corset, if you will. I am nervous. <laughs> corset making is something else, very different from everything I have done so far and supposedly quite hard to do. Now, this is not a complicated pattern. There are only five pattern pieces, actually, and I have seen this described as a fairly simple pattern to do. However, the problem with making stays is that they are very hard to fit. You pretty much can't try on the garment for fit until you have made the lacing, which is one of the last steps you do. So it's kind of, you know, just praying as you go <laughs> that it turns out all right. Now, there, luckily, is a wealth of information online about this specific pattern. It's a very popular pattern within the historical costuming world. And American Duchess, who made this pattern, also have published a lot of information about it and tips on how to make stays. However, I have looked through a lot of that information and I'm kind of overwhelmed by it. I find it hard to understand what is being referred to with um, no experience yet. So what I think I'm gonna do is just make it, just make the stays, uh, do a first mock-up. I'm not gonna pay too much attention to detail. I'm just gonna kind of make a rough sketch, if you will, of the finished garment, try out all the techniques so that I have done it once before I make my final stays. And then I can go and troubleshoot in all of that information online, you know, rather than just reading all of it and having it all jumbled up in my brain. One thing I did come across very frequently is that these stays tend to run short and that many people need to lengthen them. Now, I actually happen to have a very short torso, so that shouldn't be a problem. However, I am also very tall, <laughs> especially compared to um, many women in the USA. So they might be still too short on me as well. We'll have to wait and see again. I'm not entirely sure how I would try that out without trying the garment on. Should I try and hold up one of these pattern pieces? I think this is the waist. That looks about right, actually. Maybe this will work. But again, I, I, just, I just can't tell what my problems are gonna be if I've never ever done anything like this before. So I'm just gonna go ahead Trace these pattern pieces onto fabric. Um, I think I'm just gonna do three layers, all three layers out of the same fabric. I might not even do the lining, honestly. I just wanna get a feeling for how to do this, <laughs> the whole construction process, which I can. I have pretty much infinite time to finish this project and I wanna do it well. So yes, mock-ups first. Let's just do it. Gonna take out my fabric, trace all of these pattern pieces and see where I strand. <laughs> All right, cutting out all of these pattern pieces and transferring all the markings took a very long time, several hours, I'd say. But I now have each piece with the markings and then once without the markings. And I am now going to attach one marked piece and one unmarked piece together. Again, I think I'm not gonna do lining and if I am gonna do lining, I think I'm gonna do it 
last thing. So this is going to be my interfacing layer, as it were. And this is my front layer, the one without the markings. So I'm just going to stick two of those together and go from there. Right. all the pieces are basted together front and interlining and now I am to sew in all of the boning channels which is probably gonna take a while this is a very time-consuming project it's fun but very time-consuming okay let's get started All right, my halves are stitched together and next they want me to attach the strap to the bodice. But if I do that, then I will stitch over this boning channel where I still have to insert my boning. So I think I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> and then after that, they want me to make the casing along the bottom. But I think I'm also not going to do that because I'm kind of planning on making this a fitting model so I think I'm just gonna baste along the bottom or maybe just sew along the bottom trim like slash these um, cutting lines and then just trim along the edge rather than doing the whole kind of bias tape uh, binding because that's gonna be very time consuming and I just want to know if this fits because I have a feeling looking at this it might be maybe potentially on the bigger side so i just want to get this boned and try it on so i think i'm gonna take a shortcut there and see where that takes me so i'm gonna take the strap off again because that's definitely not gonna work i will attach that afterwards so cut this sew along the bottom and then insert my boning Boning. I had to visit three, four stores to find these, but I have them. Heavy duty zip ties, cable ties. Yeah, <laughs> this is what you're supposed to use according to the pattern. So this is what we're gonna use. And I just hope that this actually works. I think this one's a little short. Oh, I can't make them any longer. Oh, maybe they're just too short. Oh, well, they'll be good for these side bits. But 
whatever happens, I will have to cut off this bulky top part. So I'm just gonna have to go look for something that can cut this. Hopefully I have something like that around the house and start trimming. I need 30 apparently, so my hand's probably gonna hurt. This is one of those cases where I am very glad that I did a mock-up. Um, it is gigantic. <laughs> it is so big. Like I can fit a fist on both ends of my waist. That is not how a corset is supposed to sit. I'm not sure if it's just because I didn't fully bone it, but only half bone it. But I did follow the pattern and my measurements are pretty much exactly the measurements for the size that I made. So by all means it should fit, but it is laced all the way closed in the back and it's laced all the way closed in the front or as much as it would. I didn't make any grommets or eyelets or anything. I just straight up laced a ribbon through, can you tell? A ribbon through the fabric so it doesn't hold very well, but it is more or less closed on both ends and I still have a lot of room left. So I'm afraid this one is um, not functional. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a smaller size but I am not sure, I have no idea how small I need to go now because I mean it's too big but how how much too big is it? The good thing is we're just actually something that I absolutely love is that this pattern comes with each size printed individually so they the sizes don't cross each other and when you cut out the wrong one you can always go back and cut out the different size use the different size so I could just experiment but if I'm completely honest I'm not entirely feeling making this whole thing again and finding out that it's too big once again I might err on the side of caution and just like make a size 8 <laughs> instead of a 12 because this, this is a 12 and it's obviously too big i'm usually a size 12 that's what my measurements indicate but yeah this is very 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 spacious and large i think a size 8 would be better and then i will just have more of a gap but i really need more tightness around the waist that being said i love this <laughs> this is the first corset type thing I have ever made and I am very proud of myself. It was so much fun to make. I think it looks really cool and I am seeing a little bit of that shape that I'm looking for even though this isn't completely right. I do feel like we're headed in the right direction. <laughs> I am looking slightly more conical than I was before I put this on. <laughs> so that is fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm just really glad I didn't go through the trouble of binding all the edges and everything. I just uh, stitched along the edges everywhere. We're gonna have to make another one, guys. If you have any experience with this pattern, which I know 
some of you do. Do you think I should make a size 10, which is one size down, or a size 8, which would be two sizes down? I'm really not sure. I think because this is closed all the way and still too big, I should go down two sizes. Maybe three? <laughs> or is that really pushing it? I don't know. I have no idea. But until then, I'm just gonna um, stand in front of the mirror and marvel. <laughs> at my first ever pair of stays, which are almost adequate. The only thing that's failed is the size, really. I think my construction is fine. My boning or my um, tie wraps, they aren't all the proper length. So, for example, the back here, these are really long. So I just duct taped two pieces together and I really hope that that works. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. <laughs> As I maybe start to wear it, because I do plan on reusing this boning. I'll just take it out and insert it into the next version that I make. Yeah, I think this is where this video ends. Experiment number one. I'm glad I did it. I hope you enjoyed watching, and we'll just try again in the next one. So if you did enjoy, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for lots more sewing adventures, but also beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos. If you would like to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links to those in the description box below. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy, and you can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your support, guys, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!